audio interface which would straightway connect to a phone like just this one I'm using right now. It's a Samsung A22, which is very basic phone. Um, and also I bought it very cheap in Bangladesh. It's, it's almost 18,000 taka in, in Bangladeshi taka. So I'm just saying that this audio interface, which I wanted to use for the voiceover, and this is what you can see. This is Vocaster 1. And actually this Vocaster 1 is coming from the Focusrite. So if you would see that this is the Focusrite and you could see it here. This is Vocaster 1 and actually it is a good interface, good audio interface for uh, mostly for voiceover and also for podcast. So you could see that this one is really, really great one. So if you really want to see the focus right and the focus to one, uh, you could see that this is live and this is the PC. You could see a PC sign, which means that it is connected to a PC, but it is not. So it is connected to the phone straightway with the OTG cable. That means I'm not even powering up uh, with the external power device. It is drawing the power. That means this 48 volt, this 48 volt is actually coming from the 5 volt from the phone. That means my phone is able to send 5 volt from there, but then point the, the based on the specification, you could see that it is 0.8 ampere. So 0.8 ampere is being drawn from the phone and now I could record it. So you could see that this is 48 volt. It is running at the same time the PC is wide. That means it is recording digitally. Why would I wanted to have this digital connection? Because obviously I wanted to have this USB-C connector. You, you would see that this is the USB-C connector. So this is the USB-C connector. This USB-C connector is straightway getting to the phone using a OTG cable and it has no power. That means if you could see that um, this this Vocaster one is actually playing straight away from here, and I would I would show you that if you want to run it from a external power source, you could run it from here. This is a cable. This is a kind of like USB hub. You could see that this is a USB hub, and this is the power. This is the five volt power coming from the adapter. So. This is the five volt power is coming from the adapter. You could plug it here and you could actually connect this cable, this USB cable. Here is USB cable. This USB cable would go to the Vocaster one USB-C cable. So you could actually see that this USB-C cable, that means this one is connected here. This one would be connected here in the USB-C here because the supplied cable is just like this. This is USB-A and this is USB-C. So you could connect it here and the power and the power would go from here to your phone device. That is the phone USB port. So you could connect this one to the phone USB port by this, which means that you could power like using this five volt from the adapter, you could power your phone at the same time, you could power your vocaster from here. So I think I think that is one of the way which you could do it. But I can show, I can uh, certainly tell you that uh, the the recording what is happening right now it is not being powered from any external power supply. It is being powered from the phone itself. That means it is actually the phone itself is providing the power for the phone at the same time for the Vocaster. So I'm just saying that the specification because Vocaster one uh, has supplied with a, it is a PDF file. So I printed this one. So as per the specification, you could see that the USB, uh, it is a USB three version. At the same time, uh, the maximum current it can draw is 0.8 ampere. That means the Vocaster one is actually getting 0.8 ampere from the phone and also it has been uh, it has been like it is recording so you could do one thing like if you if your android phone didn't 
support this kind of, uh, this kind of USB device because why I would want the Vocaster one to be connected with the USB port and to be recorded via USB port because I want all the way digital because I want the Vocaster one to be recorded like this one, this cable. If you see the cable, this is a XLR cable. This is a, this XLR cable is coming here and the XLR cable is coming down here. So this is the XLR cable. So I would, I would, I would show you what an XLR cable um, shows like this. So this is the XLR cable. If you could see it here, I'm just saying this XLR cable, uh, it has a connector. So you'd see that this cable is connected here. So this is the XLR cable. Sorry, um, the problem here. So I'm just saying this is an XLR cable. So it goes straight away to the microphone and this one, this um, this one, it goes to the Vocaster one. So uh, this is the XLR cable. So from here, this is coming here. And when it is coming here, I want the recording to go to the phone all the way digitally. So I, I, so I have used this uh, USB cable, USB-C cable, which actually connecting to the phone. That means it is going all the way digital because I wanted to record and I wanted to do everything because if I wanted to do some modification, uh, I could use a digital workstation uh, or I could use a Hindenburg or I could use something else so that I could actually change it. But if you want to record using an analog port, uh, actually you have an analog port here. It is a TRS port. So you could see here is a TRS port. So if you see this TRS port, which means that it has the analog output. You could see the analog output. This is the cable. I can I could show you a TRS port, which could be connected to a phone or which could be connected to a kind of like DSLR camera. So this is the TRS cable. This is the TRS cable. This TRS cable would go to the Focaster 1 TRS port. So you could see this TRS port and then this one goes to the Focaster 1 and this one goes to the phone. But then in phone, it is TRRS. That means it has a four pole. So what do you need to do? You need to connect to the microphone here, this microphone, and then you can you could plug it to your phone. But then this one will work. I can tell you that if your Android phone do not support the USB uh, connector, but this one will support because this is analog. But the problem is like with the chip phone like this, it will have a chip DAC, and the chip DAC uh, would not be a great one. So you could you could. Maybe uh, throughout here, uh, through our air, we, we could not see the differences, but I can tell you that since I, I'm, I'm a kind of, kind of digital guy, so I wanted everything from here to the phone. That means everything will be recorded digitally. So why, why would I want to change it to analog in one step and then it will get converted to digital just to get recorded. So I, 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 I did not want to actually use this one. So, my point is like use this kind of this kind of uh, Android phone and this Android phone can be connected using a OTG cable. This is the OTG cable. You could you could plug it here and this OTG cable would be connected just like any of the USB A port. So this is the USB A port. So it will be connected here. So you could actually plug it here. This is the USB A port and this will go to the phone. This will go to the straight way to the phone. This is a micro B. This is a micro B connector. So no problem. If you have a USB C, no problem. So you you can have a USB C or you can have a micro B uh, connector all the way. This cable, this connection, this connection will go to the phone and then you could use, uh, you could actually use uh, the recording. But at the same time, I would I would request you to use another app because you need to uh, record the USB um, 
cable. So since you would be using a USB cable, you need to use a open camera. So this is an open camera app. So you could see that this is an open camera app. So if you see the open camera app and here in the setting, you'd see that on the camera, on the video setting, you'd find that there's another setting is audio source. If you could see the audio source, this is another setting here in the open camera. It's an open source camera. And then in the audio source, you have to select external mic you have to select external mic so if you select external mic then it will detect the usb uh, connection and since you will be talking to this microphone and this microphone would go to the vocaster one and the vocaster from the vocaster one it will get to the phone you can see that the connection and everything is working perfectly so i'm, I'm just saying that i'm using open camera and this open camera is re recording everything through this USB audio interface digitally. So you could use a phone to get actually all the, all to, to actually do all the recording. So you could see that this is the enhancement feature. So this is the auto gain feature. So I'm just saying right now uh, it is not clipping. So uh, I think, I think, this is a green and some bit of amber here, some bit of amber here, which, which means that it is not clipping that much, which means it's okay. So I'm just saying the recording is fine. And, but also you could see the enhancement since I'm not connected to the PC. So the last enhancement, what, I'm, what I've used or what I've set in the PC. So the last enhancement, what I've set to the PC, it is working here. So you don't need a PC to do all this, you need the PC maybe for the once, maybe for once, and you set the enhancement, right? I have set my enhancement to clean. So by default, this enhancement is actually working as a clean all the time. So for the first time I've used the PC to get connected, but uh, from then onward, I'm using only this Vocaster one and the Android phone for recording. I think you could do the whole thing using this Vocaster one and Android phone. I think, I think that will help you to start the recording. Thank you so much. Bye.